bearing with Milan Clevite, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about engine bearings and how to determine which engine bearing is right for your engine rebuild application. All Clevite engine bearings are designed in two types of construction. First, we have an aluminum bimetal bearing, as shown here. It has a steel back with a top layer of aluminum and silicon alloy. The next type of construction is a trimetal engine bearing, which has the same steel back, a layer of copper lead in the intermediate layer, and then an overlay of babbitt. So which engine bearing is right for your application? Let's talk about each more and we can determine that in here in a moment. Let's say you have a 1993 Honda Accord. It has 250,000 miles on it. The car's in pretty good shape still, but the engine's a little bit tired and you just want to rebuild it. The aluminum bimetal bearing is an excellent choice for this application. A number of the OE manufacturers have been going to aluminum bimetal over the past 20 years. The main reason is cost. It's less expensive to produce aluminum bimetal bearing than it is a trimetal bearing. Second, the aluminum bimetal is a very hard bearing surface, which allows for a long service life. Obviously, if the engine's going 200,000 miles to start with, it's a very adequate bearing for OE type of repairs. Now let's say you have a, a 60s or 70s muscle car. Maybe you put a different set of aluminum heads on it, a bigger camshaft, you're hot riding it up a little bit. Which bearing would you choose in that application? You'd want to go to a trimetal bearing. The reason is, the intermediate layer of cast copper lead has higher load carrying capabilities than our bimetal bearing. The Babbitt overlay also extends bearing life and assists with higher load carrying. All of our race bearings are of this trimetal design, from NASCAR all the way through the NHRA top fuel bearings that we use. There's different recipes for material makeup and coatings, but they're all based off the same principle trimetal bearing design. Thank you for watching today. I hope you learned a little bit about bearing construction and design. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and please visit our website, monoclevite.com, for more information.